As always, I only use the data from the alarmists themselves, from official sources. And here, NASA produced a study that showed the Earth, in just a 30-odd year period, had actually produced an extra 14% vegetation. And 70% of that, they claimed, was due to the extra CO2. So 10% extra vegetation on the whole of the Earth because of the extra CO2. This, of course, is not surprising. People pump extra CO2 into greenhouses so they can grow their plants more. In this case, they have added another 450 parts per million to the natural CO2 and look at the difference in plant growth. That's how tomatoes, etc. are grown. Other studies, including those from Germany and NASA themselves, have found that the Sahara Desert, the biggest desert in the world, has been reducing in size an area equivalent to five times the size of England, almost as big as the area of Germany and France combined. But with them with CO2 being so good for crops, one would expect crop yields from all sorts of crops around the world to be much higher now. And they are. The world has experienced record crop yields all the time. And whilst not all of that is due to CO2, it is actually mainly due to CO2. And with those crop yields, the portion of the world that's undernourished is at record lows and dropping all the time. But why do we never seem to hear all this good news about the extra CO2? And why do we hark back to a CO2 level pre-industrial that was so low it was really a starvation diet for our plants? The reason why this good news does not penetrate out is because it doesn't fit the alarmist agenda, which is one of control by fear. Without that fear, there is no grants for research. The whole system, the whole industry, is now based on a false premise. 